Hi, welcome to Whole Latte Love and welcome back to Comparamatic 101 Part 2. My name is Mike Rosso and if you remember in our first video we covered the exterior parts of the machine. So today let's continue in Part 2 as we cover the interior parts of the machine. So let us begin with the boilers. The boiler is the place where the water is heated to brew espresso and also to provide steam for your frothing and steaming of milk. Boilers are made from various types of metal. Brass, stainless steel, aluminum, stainless steel line aluminum, copper, and there are different types of boilers. There's single boilers, heat exchanger boilers, and dual boilers. The engineers, in addition to designing a good boiler system, have designed the specific element for each machine. Some boilers have the elements internally, and some boilers have the elements externally, such as the Gaja Classic. Now let's move on to the brew group. The brew group is the part of the espresso machine where your espresso is brewed. The brew group for the super automatic espresso machine works inside the espresso machine and is self-contained for the entire brewing process. The grinder grinds a preset grams of espresso bean directly into the brew group, tamps it, and brews your espresso. While the semi-automatic brew group is almost completely built into the espresso machine, you need to attach a porter filter filled with pre-ground tamped espresso before you can brew your espresso. Well, let's move on to pumps. There are two types of pumps. There's the vibration pump, which is designed to draw water from the reservoir into your machine, and then there's a rotary pump, which is designed to draw water from a plumbed line in your home or your office. All pumps have different bar pressure and different wattages, but they've all been engineered to brew efficiently in your machine. Another thing that we compare with the super automatics is the dredge drawer. Dredge drawers are found in super automatic espresso machines and is the place where the used espresso pucks are discarded from the brew group after brewing. They vary in size and capacity from machine to machine. Another feature in our Comparamatic is a three-way solenoid valve and this pertains mainly to semi-automatic machines. A three-way solenoid valve is designed to remove pressure and water after your brewing from the brew group and the porter filter which allow for easy removal of the porter filter and a clean dry puck for easy discard. Another category in our Comparamatic would be coffee controls and what this refers to is the adjustments that you can make with the machine such as programming cup volume whether the machine has pre-infusion or not. Pre-infusion is where you put a little water into your brew group first to start the extraction process whether there's a bypass doser, a back pressure relief valve, temperature controls and energy saving. Another category we cover in a Comparamatic is the control panel display whether it's a digital display or not, whether it's indicator lights, out of beans, out of water, the dredge drawer is full, brew group problem, decalcification indicator, hot rinse cycle, and cleaning cycle. Well, that concludes part two of our Comparamatic 101. I'm Mike Rosso for Whole Latte Love, and I invite you to join me for part three, where we show you how we compile our data for our Comparamatic. Thank you very much.